Viruses are a part of human existence and have invaded every possible area of our lives from our living bodies to the silicon pathways of the world wide web. Thankfully, computer virus can't actually infect humans nor the other way around, but that doesn't mean that viral are harmless. Virus Appreciation Day encourages us to en enjoy and respect the viral of all kinds and the incredible impact they've had on our lives and our world especially our year of COVID-19 <laughs> virus. <laughs> so today is Virus Appreciation Day. I mean, tell me, ladies, did we ever take viruses seriously before COVID-19? Not really, not really. But I, 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 it was the Ebola, was it a virus as well? No, I don't know. Thing. See, I'm not a medical. So, we will ask Dr. Nisochi when she comes. But, <laughs> but I think Ebola was it. It was, a, vi it was a virus. Whenever yes. we think about the virus, we think about something negative about the virus. That is, is, it's, its impact on humanity is bad, mm. basically. But I think on the other side, it's supposed to be a part of our daily existence that, mm. you know, to strike a balance between life and death. Mm -hmm. So how about you, um, <laughs> Kechi? Um, Did you take viruses seriously before COVID-19? or Because HIV came and we yeah. actually we were serious there was, about there was, Yeah, there was, was an HIV awareness. For you know, a period of time. I remember, I mean, when I go to salons, I make sure you do not use the same cut, uh, yeah. cuticle mm -hmm. trimmer. Mm -hmm. You don't use blades, on, you know, so we were serious personally, about it. Okay, so personally, I feel uh, humans, or let's use Nigerians, for example, um, if there is no serious outbreak, people don't take it serious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it was when COVID um, came into play that you hear people, oh, you have to wash your hands when you're coming out of the bathroom. You have to wash your hands after a mm -hmm. very long day and you get mm -hmm. home, wash your hand before eating or wash your hand before this. Mm -hmm. On a normal day, you don't really hear people doing that. Mm -hmm. You know that people will go into the bathroom. You'll be there, you'll watch them. Mm -hmm. They will pee or do whatever and then they'll go out mm -hmm. without washing their hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People were not taking they it very serious. Bad with, uh, they were very hygiene. bad with hygiene. Mm -hmm. So hygiene was actually really, really bad. Mm -hmm. It was when COVID came that like you start hearing Ebola. People, oh, I tell you, take eh, this serious. After do this, Ebola, do that. you know when Ebola happened, a lot of people stocked uh, what's it called sanitizers for sale and all of that. After mm -hmm. Ebola, all the sanitizers expired on them. Exactly. In fact, they just, when COVID happened, they didn't even bother. They just brought back all the sanitizers all and, sanitizer and put them back did. on the yeah. shelf <laughs> yes. because uh, Corona came and everybody became more conscious mm -hmm. again and you know started well. I, I think uh, when Dr. Nisochi comes, we would have to have that conversation, you know, with her. Oh, yeah. um, throw more yeah. light on it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. All right, so ladies, what did you find for us in the news? Let me come to um, Nikechi. What did you find for us in the news? Okay, um, in Vanguard today, um, they, were talk they talked about um, police arresting a 21-year-old man raping a 13-year-old girl in Ogun State. Hmm. So basically what happened was... Um, he got to her house and lied to her that um, her aunt sent him to service the generator and she was the only one at home. And guess what? It wasn't at night. It was around um, 1.30 p.m. Wow. So it was broad daylight. broad daylight. So because he mentioned her aunt, she let him <laughs> into the house. Wow. So immediately he got in, he dragged her to the room and he raped her. So when the aunt got back, she saw the girl lying on the floor and she was still alive. And then she explained what happened, but he couldn't find the guy. Then her aunt had to go report to the police station, which um, the DPO had to send out his detectives to go out and search for the guy. They found him. Then he made a confession that he actually did, it. did, did what the girl he did. Die? Yeah, no, she did. She did not die. She did not die, which I feel like it's it's really sad. I mean, there has been so much awareness about um, sexual harassment, rape, you and all that it. in the news. And this is not the first rape um, news I'm hearing about today. There was another one. An 11 year old girl that was, girl gang that was raped to raped. death. Yes, yes I, I listened to that. That was and really it's, painful. It's been a lot. And I think um, we had a lot, of, uh, a lot of rape cases during this lockdown mm -hmm. down period. And um, I feel like everything we've been seeing in time past and even in present times are all falling on deaf ears. Mm. I think another thing we should have done, or the little girl should have had, um, should have been told or advised on, was that 
there should be a password. If the auntie actually did send somebody to the house, not then, many people know yes. those things. Yeah. So these are little things that you know. Not many people been. know those things. It's the guy an just Ogun, laid Ogun on her psychology. Yeah. So yes. let's and assume. Let's assume is is in Ogun State, Ayetoro. Mm. Mm. So just have a picture in your mind of how that place mm -hmm. looks like. Um, it's not about the place. No, it's not we about have the place. rural disagree. areas. We have I rural areas. No, I, I understand. That. I understand where you're coming from, mm. but where I'm driving at is, um, you have these rural areas where people are not that educated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Um, telling her, oh, you have to have a password or something. It's not Banana Island where you're going into. I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I hear you. I, I hear saying. you. I think, yeah, like, I think I it's something we would bring, we would bring back we can because educate, we're running out of so time. We yes. need to start educating. We have to find yes. a creative way to educate, educate people. people. Both yeah. male but it's actually and very female. Sad. Yeah. In fact, the 11-year-old one, I haven't gotten over that conversation. I haven't gotten over it. And I hope they find those people. The young men In that fact, when they find older? them, they should not even take them to court. They should just hang them. That's all. Hmm. There should really be some sad. sort of aggressive punishment yeah. for rapists. See, what did you find for us in the news? In the news, um, what I found was uh, Nigeria expresses anger over Google listing Abani Darego as ugliest uh, Miss World. Now, let's take note that um, Abani Darego came into um, power, or she won the Miss pa the pageant uh, in 2001, mm. and she is the only African that has won this till date. The others that had even won it were um, was um, was in South Africa, mm. but they were all light skinned This was in the black Africa. Yes, yeah, South Africa. They were not blacks mm -hmm. per se. They were, you know, light skinned Africans. Google, thank you very much. So eh? Google, she might be ugly to you, but she's very very pretty <laughs> so, to us. And exactly. Let's leave it there. Like and sometimes I don't beautiful. get when they bring all this nonsense you know? conversation from. Yes, you and know? especially in the period that we're mm -hmm. talking about Black Lives Matter right mm -hmm. now. So it shouldn't have even come up in the first place mm. with Google. I well, think so that was a very Because we've run out of time, I'll just take my headline. Um, Nigeria yes. accounts for about 80% of capital flight in West Africa. Mm. That's the UN reporting it. You know, we're supposed to talk about capital flight. You know, we're losing a lot of um, people, right? Mm. A lot of people are leaving this are country. Leaving the country yeah. I mean... <laughs> I'm waiting for you to tell me now that you're going so, to Canada. You don't go with this height now because you have to go and look for where you maximize the height. But I think we need to dig deep to see what this happened. I mean, this topic is actually penned down for us to have a conversation, okay. you know, to talk about it. So I'll just probably leave it there because we've run out of time. Yeah. Uh, we'll mm. take a short break. When we return, we'll be talking um, about um, preventive health measures. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 